Sagittarius, what's up? It is I, New Tarot. I am an energy and intuitive reader, and I'm here to do the general readings for the Sagittariuses. What's up, archers? How are you guys doing? Um, yeah, I am here to do the readings for the Sagittarius. This could resonate for you if you have Sag as a sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign. Um, what else? What else? What else? Nothing really unexpected, Sag. So let's just begin. Um, I'm going to pull some energy cards for you to see the energy that you're in and then some tarot um, and then some advice at the end. All right, Sag, Sarah. Let's see what Spirit got for you, Sagittarius. <sighs> Sagittarius, Spirit, Sagittarius. What's going on, Sagittarius? What would you like them to know at this moment? Sagittarius, Spirit, Sagittarius. Thank you. What else? Thank you. Oh. What else, Spirit? One more card for Sagittarius. Thank you. All right, bottom of the deck is overcoming obstacles. Love to see it. Okay, overcoming obstacles, recognition, and patience at the bottom of the deck. So, Sag, what you don't see coming is you're going to be getting back on your feet, right? You guys could be in an energy right now of things not going so hot for you. Um, but things will be getting better, okay? Recognition, people are going to be recognizing how hard you've been working and how hard you've been doing things. Recognition is always a good card because you always are going to get like, uh, oh, wow, Sag, that's so nice of you doing that. Or, wow, look at how hard you're working. Or, oh, wow, look at what, blah, blah, blah. That, it always happens with that card. And then you have patience. So there's something that you are uh, like so antsy, like you're antsy about it. And Spirit is saying like patience, manifestations are coming, but they're going to come in spirit time, right? Which they don't, there is no time. They go off by energies. So make sure that you are, that you're, um, that you have welcoming energy around you, meaning your intentions are pure you're being honest you're not um you know all the positive energies you have to be going through it in order for this to come as quickly as you want it to if not it's gonna come when spirit wants to give it to you okay so let's talk about what is on this table right here right now so the first part you got is retreat here okay so time spent alone reflection on past and current situations i feel like a lot of you could be spending time alone um trying to like i said reflect on things that has happened to you and that's currently happening to you because you're trying to maybe um trying to go a new direction with eight of pentacles yeah a lot of you guys could be working really hard um on something here then you have twin flame okay a spiritual connection between you and your twin flame. So a twin flame connection, ace of wands, is very passionate here. This could be something something they just started new. Um, it could be, it doesn't have to be. A twin flame connection is very um four of swords. You're in your mind a lot about it. Um this twin flame connection is basically a connection that you share with someone else that is very spiritual. Okay. Um it is very um isn't it it's not the easiest connection, I will say uh it's very triggering you guys um are meant to trigger each other so you guys can grow and be better together you guys are basically the same soul split into two and your um you know your your life path here is to grow together as one okay and that is very difficult so but all in all it's meant to happen all right and then a new opportunity and insights gained from a new experience job or partner so there's something new here okay so i don't like it like i said it could be a new partner but the twin flame could be new let's talk about it retreat spirit can you clarify retreat why is retreat here we're gonna clarify these and see what's up you got the eight of cups here okay some of you guys are emotionally walking away from something to find something better here some of you guys could be walking away from something okay because you guys just like mm -mm. eight of swords the devil the two of pentacles yeah it's like you feel trapped in this you feel like it's th there's negative energies there's toxic energies atta attached to this thing here um so you feel like you had to retrieve and, and move away from something here with the two of pentacles this is gonna this is gonna create change here coming in the hanged man the king of swords and this the king of wands that you guys could have ended something because it's like you started looking at you started looking at something in a different way here with the hanged man and um, the king of wands it's like you, you're you know what you are you know what you want um and you're not going to settle for less Sag, which is amazing that's exactly how it should be whoops so that's good i like that i like that i like that 
And because you guys walked away from something, something new could be coming right up your alley. Spirit likes when we do that. When we walk away from the things that we know. Um, you have Six of Wands and the Six of Pentacles. So you guys could be successful in creating money here with this new opportunity. But let's see. Twin Flames, right? Can you clarify Twin Flame? Ten of Wands. Yeah. This relationship that you have with someone here um, is very burdensome. It's... It, um, it's uh, how can I say this? It's a lot of responsibility. You feel like it's a burden, okay? The star, the five of wands, the king of cups. But the devil and the six of swords, it's like you feel like you're attached to it, okay? Um, with the six of swords, it, it, you guys are always in choppy water, you know, always trying to move forward here. That could be why it gives a burden because it's like an, over and over and over again. But that's kind of the twin flame journey, to be honest, right? When we're, when we're with somebody who triggers us our deep insecurities, it's not easy, right? This person is probably doing that to you, but that's the, that's what they're meant to do in this connection. They're meant to trigger your insecurities so you can work on it and heal. Because unfortunately, the only way humans learn and we grow is through pain, right? And this person is the only person that could get you to that point where you actually have to sit there and think about Oh, wait, yeah, you know, this person's going to probably point out things about you that, you know, you know deep down yourself, but no one's ever brought it up to light. That's what this person is here for. Okay, you have the three of cups. All right. Um, this could involve some, you know, um, friends here, some family getting involved here. But the star card, the five of wands and the king of cups, it's like, this is something that you want with the star card. But there is a lot of arguments here. You and this person could be different. You guys could be um, born in a different side of the country, different side of the state, just different religion, just different. You guys are just different. But the king of cups, it's like, it's like you're, I feel like you're emotionally ready for this relationship. Like your emotions are good for this. But, you know, the way you, f the way you think about this, I think has to change. Okay, because you are thinking that it's extra, that it is, I mean, because you think it's the Ten of Wands, it's extra responsibility, and it is, it is, it is, it is, um, Sag, I'm not going to lie to you, a Twin Flame connection absolutely is very burdensome, and it is a lot of responsibility, um, but once you guys get past the bad stage, it's like, it's going to be the best relationship you've ever experienced, because this is literally your other, the other half of you, um, so it's like, are you willing to go through this? to get to the page of wands because after the ten of wands is the page of wands which is creative um passionate energy so it's up to you right a new opportunity sir can you clarify ace of swords yeah some truth is going to come to you here um eight of pentacles page of swords i'm sorry page of wands ha <laughs> And then you have the Queen of Pentacles. I was just talking about the Page of Wands. So there's something that you're working really hard on here, okay? That I feel like is going to bring out your creative side, okay? And the Queen of Pentacles is like, you're going to be nurturing this. Ace of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, and the Hermit, okay? I feel like... I feel like you guys, there's going to be something that's going to be offered to you. It's going to be very prosperous here. And the communication is going to come in quick with this here. But I feel like some of you guys with the Hermit might, like want to be alone might not want to accept it at the moment because you have fears and illusions stopping you uh when it comes but this is something that, that you do want with the star card you do want this um but it's up to you to release these fears and these doubts and just take the leap sag okay take the leap all right um let's pull some tarot see what's going on with you you got the lover's card at the bottom of the deck okay you got the lovers the ten of swords and the magician here okay two of wands four of pentacles and the five of pentacles okay all right let's talk sag so the first card that you came out 
with is the devil okay so there's definitely some toxic energies around you there's definitely something that you're attached to here you could be obsessing over something here we're going to clarify what we're going to see okay then you have justice okay now this came out in reverse i usually don't read reversals but when i'm inclined to i do this came out in reverse so there could be something that um is being dishonest here some of you guys could have legal issues right now um and for others of you, it's the justice upright. It's there's there's fairness coming to you. There's justice coming to you. We're gonna clarify and we're gonna see. Then you have two of pentacles here. So th there's some choices that you have to make here. Okay, we're gonna clarify and we're gonna see. And then you have the king of cups here. Okay, and that can also came out in reverse. But <sighs> some of you guys could be feeling could be could be being selfish here. Okay, I'm gonna say it. All right, and others of you could be um, being very devoted to something here. We're going to clarify. The lovers, the ten of swords, and the magician. I feel like there was a painful ending here that happened, and you guys are trying to manifest a deep connection here with someone after an ending happened, okay? You guys could be not intentionally manifesting it, but if you keep thinking about this ending with this person, you're, intention you're unintentionally inviting this energy to come back, okay? Two of Wands, it's like you're, you're you're trying to choose the path. This is what you want, but you're not letting go of the fact that it didn't work out. The fact that you guys ended. The fact that it made you feel sad, you know. Um, you know, the fact that it's just, it's just a lack mindset. It's just a lack mindset here that you're having here. You guys are, you, they're after an ending here, you guys are trying to manifest some, some love here for yourself. Okay. Just some harmony. You just want some peace for some of you. Okay, so let's clarify these. I did get some new cards, guys. Look at how beautiful. I actually been had these, but excuse me, I actually did have these for a while, like months, but I never opened them. So we here. All right, so let's see what's going on. Okay. The devil's breaking. Clarify the devil. Why is the devil here? Queen of Swords. Okay. So I feel like I feel like you guys. Hold on. Page of Coins, Nine of Cups, and the Chariot. What is this? The Seven of Swords. <sighs> Seven of Swords, the King of Cups, and the Eight of Swords. Okay. Um Okay, so the, the chariot, the nine of cups, and the page of coins. I feel like you guys are realizing that there's an energy here that is toxic, that is not good to be in. Like, you're, you're realizing that, and you're doing what you got to do now to cut things out. It's like you're not playing no games, okay? Page of, page of coins, nine of cups, and the chariot. Something is coming real quick to you, and I feel like it's a... Um, it's a um it's a it's an offer here with the page of with the page of pentacles. Can I take these out? <laughs> it's an offer here. Okay, with the page of pentacles. And then you have the nine of cups. It's gonna make you very happy, very contentment, okay? And it's coming to you quick. And I feel like it's coming after you kind of realize, like, oh wait, this isn't and you're, you're like looking into it and you're being very stern about all these negative energies here. Spray, can you clarify justice card? Why is it just you have a high priestess. Yeah, when, whenever they put the high priestess, it's like, figure it out yourself. Like, speaking to you, Sash. <laughs> you have the devil, the ace of wands, and the eight of coins. Which is the eight of pentacles, okay? Um, they want you to listen to your intuition so you can figure out. Or with the devil, the ace of wands, and the eight of coins, there's something that you have been working really hard on. Okay, it could be very passionate here. Something that you have a lot of passion for. Okay, two of coins, the temperance, and five of coins. Temperance, you're here. Okay, but you, with this devil energy, it's like you could have an attachment to it that is not healthy. Okay, with the temperance and the five of coins, like you need to heal and stop thinking that you're not good enough for something here with the five of coins, with the lack of mindset. Okay. Spirit is saying, listen to your intuition, okay? When it comes to, you know, on this honesty that's going around here, okay? Your intuition will tell you here. You got the two of coins here. Things are going to change. Um, but with this dishonesty, they want you to listen to your intuition at the moment because your, your intuition could be telling you something here. Could be telling you the truth. Could be telling you what's actually going on, 
okay? I feel like the answers are going to come in from you, all right? Two of Pentacles, Spirit, can you clarify Two of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, okay? So you're trying to make a decision here on this new passionate beginning that you want here. Ace of Coins, Queen of Wands, and the Tower. Yeah, after something ended here, Five of Coins, you guys could have left a job here. Or a job could have just stopped working out for you. Or you could just have this lack mindset. Because after something fell with the tower card, now you're like, oh, I don't know if I'm good enough for anything now. You could be in like this negative energy here with the ace of coins and the queen of wands. But I do see a new prosperous beginning starting for you after this tower card falls with the ace of coins and the queen of wands. Something very passionate, okay? And with the ace of coins, it's a new beginning in the material aspect. Whether it's a new job, a new car, whatever. Um, so, and I do want to say that after the tower, whenever the spirit knocks something out from us or removes something from our lives, they always replace it with something better. And that's why you have new opportunity here. So even though this ended, something else is coming. Okay. Better. All right. King of cups, spirit. Can you clarify? That, that energy was, you were, it wasn't good. Okay. It was devil energy anyway. King of cups, spirit. Can you clarify? Why is the king of cups here? nine of cups okay i do feel like there's going to be it could be a scorpio that's coming towards you or a water sign okay three of cups eight of cups page of swords yeah there's going to be some communication here okay they want to celebrate with you here with the eight of cups i feel like you're you're walking into that energy of celebration of, of celebrating with people here because you could be kind of down in the dumps but this person's going to come in quick with the eight of wands to communicate all right. Um, and I think, I think what they're going to say is going to make you happy with the Nine of Pentacles here. Okay. It could be about your home. All right. Um, with Three of Cups, the Page of Cups, and the Eight of Cups. It's like, you know, celebration after you walking away from something here with the Page of Swords. Communication is going to come in once you walk away from something here. All right. And, um, this choice that you have to make once you make it. It could be about your home, okay? Once you make it, it's going to be the best choice you've ever made, okay? It's going to set you off to where you need to go, all right? So, I feel like once you make this choice, it could be difficult, but once you do it, you'll be fine, okay? You'll be fine. Just make a choice. Pick something here, <laughs> okay? All right, Sag. What is the advice, Spirit, for Sagittarius? What is the advice? Thank you. Can I have one more card? What is the advice? Thank you. Are you guys... Okay. First card that came out for you is release. All right. There's a need for you guys to release the past here. Release your old way of doing things. Okay. Spirit does not want you to bring in this, this old way of you doing things into this new opportunity. All right. Then you have transformation. I love it. So yeah, that's why Spirit's saying is to release because you're transforming right now. You're going through a transformation. The old you is dying to allow this new you to come in. So that's why they want you to release this old way of doing things okay because this new you cannot you cannot have that old stuff and then the bottom of the deck is change okay so there's gonna this energy is gonna change a big changes are coming big good changes and then you have opportunity all right an opportunity is gonna come but you have an opportunity here that you didn't expect with the moon you did not expect it it's a hidden opportunity here okay so i'm happy for you sad all right well, that's all that I have for you today. I hope this brought some clarity or some insight into your situation. And yeah, Sag, have a good day or a good night whenever you're watching this. And stay positive.